Moving on to my Oklahoma Sooners beating Iowa State 27 to 13. This probably is my favorite play of the game. <laughs> this fake field goal right here, reminiscent of 2013 and Grant Botham. I love this. Flick it. Venus Smith, run it through. Right through the red jerseys. I love that. No, we're not going to the pylon. I'm going to take it right through you. I, I just don't see that kind of mox from a kicker very much. Shout out to Zach Schmidt for showing out. And then you're talking about an Oklahoma defense that for the first time all season began to resemble the kind of thing that Brent Venables thought we would be getting from the jump in the Big 12, right? Now, a couple caveats here. Yes, they had three interceptions, three takeaways, right? And Danny Stutzman is an absolute monster on that defense. Jalen Redmond had a great game. Ethan Downs had some great plays. But the thing to take away here is that you play great defense against the worst offense in the Big 12, okay? Hunter Deckers threw the ball more than 50 times. Still put up doggone near 300 yards. It ain't, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty is what I'm saying. Now, it's prettier than giving up 40-plus in your past three games. That is prettier than that. I like giving up just 13 to anybody at this point. But also, 5-3. One away from bowl eligibility, right? Can get there next week. And then we're back on track, right? We're talking about getting eight, nine, maybe 10 wins in Brent Venables year one. Shout out to Brent Venables this word this week. He had a great quote, which is we could win every game. We could lose every game. And there were some people that took that out of context, right? I know what Brent Venables means. He means that the game is going to reward you for your effort. Football's hard. Football's damn hard. And if you don't show up and treat it with the proper amount of respect, yeah, anybody can hand you an L. Anybody can beat you on any Saturday. And Brent Venables is not a man to cheat the game. And he won't let you cheat the game. And he won't let you believe that you're better than you are and might even remind you that you're not as good as you could be. I like that message. I really like that that man is not shook. None of this is getting under his skin. And he doesn't look at four and three and say, oh, we must be bad. No, he looks at four and three and says, okay, there's some work for us to do. Let's go to work. That's all that man does. He works and works and works. Kind of dude that can't even bask in a great win. Needs to go home and start preparing for the next opponent the very same day because that's just how he's wired. Speaking of Kansas State, that's where that dude played football. Playing for Bill Snyder, right? Playing for the kind of guy that did not really enjoy any win. Man wore the same Fiesta Bowl, or excuse me, Cotton Bowl windbreaker for years and Cortez is for years. Because he couldn't get over it. <laughs> that was season ended for years. Love that about him. Love that about the head coach at Oklahoma. OU giving up, oh my goodness, just 13 after giving up 49, 41, 55. Oh my goodness. Uh, th that, that feels good to say out loud. Also, quietly, Oklahoma's won 23 out of its last 25 against Iowa State. Shout out to the Cyclones. I know they're 0 and 4, you know, uh, in, in conference play. I know that. I know that they aren't good in the win-loss column. There's nothing good to say about it, but it's a tough football team, and they played tough football today. Will McDonald's still a star. I think he's going to be an outstanding pro. I think Hunter Deckers is going to pick it up, and he's going to be better next year. We're going to see Matt Campbell continue to do what Matt Campbell does, which is take these dudes and make them into a football team that is capable of winning major bowl championships and playing in the Big 12 championship game. They'll be back. Give us some time. You're just going to cycle through Iowa State. It's going to be all right. Thank you for watching the number one college football show. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that you don't miss any of the best college football coverage in America.